Andy Pants Games is a YouTube personality that's been receiving some traction recently within the gaming space. He first started getting noticeable recognition a few months ago when talking about the state of modern gaming. Over time, his videos have become far more defined, focusing on forced diversity that plagues the industry and a lack of masculinity in modern gaming. What makes Andy, as a creator, stand out is his direct verbiage and unapologetic personality, condemning the LGBT community as the homo-satanic pedophilic mob who wishes to brainwash society with its woke virus agenda, Jesus Christ. Whether you agree or disdain Andy's police and the way he expresses himself, there's little doubt that his animated personality plays a large component to his recent exposure, even garnering a reaction from the likes of people like Asmongold. With this distinct style of content, Andy has decided to direct his attention to calling out other YouTubers in his latest video who he sees as grifting leftist cucks. One of said YouTubers Andy covered would be The Act Man, which is where our story begins. Andy Pants first goes out to promote his video on Twitter. That same day, Actman enters the discussion. Lord, thank you for this blessing I am about to receive. It's like you guys aren't even trying with the insults anymore. You all use the same playbook. Do better, there's so much to make fun of me for. But I am happy you found a successful grift after the console war shtick didn't work out for you. Andy then decides to respond, Yeah. I used to do the console war thing, but then Xbox made terrible decisions. Anything else, gay cuck? Come on, grifter pet. <laughs> Jeez. Come on, grifter pants. At least try to make the insults personal. I've heard better roasts from 12 year olds on Modern Warfare 2. Your ass would have gotten eaten alive on Xbox Live. Calling me a cuck is not effective when I don't have a girlfriend. Hey, that's something you can make fun of me for. Think your wise boyfriend will let you stay up late and make a response video tonight? I will admit, it's an incredible troll, but I feel like I'm picking on the kid who sits in the back of the short bus. <laughs> Sorry about the mental retardation, if you're serious. Imagine being a gay beta and voting for Kamala. No wonder you don't even have a girlfriend. From there, Andy pokes fun at Ackman for the next couple of days until announcing an upcoming debate stream, where Ackman replies, Yo dude, DM me. My DMs are open. Would love to chat sometime, live stream or off stream, recorded or not recorded. I love the content you make and I'm not being sarcastic. I think the satire is immaculate and I love it. And just to be clear, I'm not trying to derail or destroy what you got going on. I'm just genuinely entertained and impressed at what you've done. So please, hit me up in DMs. I think we could have some incredible conversations. And to that, Andy replies, There's no satire here, brother. But often, when the woke mind virus has taken someone over, they think my content is satire. I'll be on from 12pm to 2pm Eastern tomorrow if you think you'd like to discuss slash debate me. Bro, you are a fucking legend for keeping the act up. You have fooled so many retards, I am genuinely impressed. Keep up the good work, this shit is so entertaining. Stop being a beta cuck and come to my channel then. And with that, the time and date was set. So, how'd the debate go? So it starts off with Andy starting up his stream, talking to some bozo for a few minutes to let the time pass. Eventually, he cuts him off to let the act man join in. <laughs> act man, how can I use this for content? For content, exactly. Hopefully, it's mutually beneficial. He can use me for content. I can use him for content. It's it's fine. Guys, is he gonna is he gonna pussy out? Is he gonna puss out because leftists are pussies? Is Ackman gonna run away because leftists are cowards? I'm I'm gonna have some random people come in here while we wait for Actman. Dude, how's it going? I'm surprised the Act Man hasn't joined yet. Yeah, dude, just sitting here waiting on him. Oh, I also yeah, forgot yeah, to yeah. mention another one, and I think this is important to mention is fucking mobile games. Do you know how big the mobile game market is? Like they could give less of a shit about like the smaller games, which sucks. Because, like, and I saw your video. There he is, boys. The man What's himself. Poppin'? Yeah. All right, Ackman. I have I have one question just to start off. Um, in the words of the African prince, why are you gay? <laughs> why are you gay? Who says I'm gay? You're not. You're not gay. It's just that you were supporting. Um, you didn't you didn't follow through with the line, bro. Come on, man. You, you, you were supporting Leon mods that were gay and you were anti Ashley mods. And I was wondering why you did that. 
Huh? For Resident Evil 4, you were in support of Leon mods and in, in support of gay Leon mods acting like they were no big deal. And you were again. And then you called people that were pro Ashley mods. You were like, oh, they're weirdos. I don't know if I said the term weirdo. I mean, if you have the tweet, we can go over it or whatever the tweets are. Basically, uh, people are not allowed to remove LGB, uh, LGBT stuff from games. And what you said here was, um, this is false. Nexus Mods is not working to delete mods that remove pronouns from Starfield. Mm -hmm. And then there was a clarification note that said, um, from Nexus Mods that said, this is actually true. If we think someone is uploading a mod on our site with intent to deliberately be against inclusivity or diversity, then we will take action against it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so Andy starts off with a harmless joke. Ackman even plays into it. But Andy's first criticism is asking Acton why he supported RE4 Gay Leon mods, but was anti-Ashley mods. Then when asked to provide proof, Andy pulls up a screenshot where Acton says Nexus mods weren't banning Starfield mods, removing pronouns, which they corrected in a context note. He was incorrect, but these are two wildly different statements, and Andy never provides evidence backing the first claim that Acton was anti-Ashley mods to begin with. They continue. So yeah, you think this is like, some kind of like gotcha? Like I mean, do you, when do I you admit not, to mistakes, like so do you not? Do you not see the double standard that people are allowed to put like gay stuff in there, but aren't allowed to aren't allowed to remove it? Are you talking about Nexus mods double standard? Yeah, because well, I mean, they're an independent company, aren't they? So they're no, allowed 100%. to do what they want. Of course, there might be a double standard there, but right. there's also the idea that no matter what they choose they're going to piss some group of people off, right? If they allow mods like that, they're going to piss off one group. But if they take them down, they're going to piss off the other. So it's really a no-win situation for them. Yeah. And that's kind of up to people's own interpretations. Yeah. But yeah, I, I believe I corrected that mistake that I made. Maybe a quote retweet or something. So... What struck me as odd was Andy pivots from his initial statement to asking Ackman if he saw that Nexus mods had double standards... It's as if he were responsible for what Nexus said or did, and that somehow reflects Actman himself. Uh, before I get too ahead of myself, let's move forward. If that's all the that's that can't be all the ammo you have. Surely you've got something. Stronger. Oh no, no 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 no! My other question is: Does the fence ever hurt? Do the splinters ever hurt from sitting on the fence so much, bud? Mm. Oh, so is this the route you want to go down? This is the route I want to go down. Let's. Go. Are you sure? Dude, just unload the ammo on me. Get, get, dude, I'm, I'm ready. Are you sure about this, man? Because I don't think you're cut out for this. I don't I think you know how this game Sweetie. is played. Sweetie, I am. I'm so cut out for it. Then why, why have me on when you have done such a terrible job of purging your digital footprint? Go ahead. I've got. I had an old Xbox channel that was stupid. Go ahead, pull it up. And, and an old Twitter account and a few Go old ahead. YouTube channels. And you know, I have your permission. Go ahead, dude. Oh. Go, do you want to call me homophobic now or later? I don't care about that shit, bro. I care about you being a fake. Oh. And that when the people find out who you really are, the leopards will eat your face. Go for it. I don't... Go for it. I've changed... I'll, I'll be super transparent on what I've changed my position on and what I haven't changed my position on. Andy makes a statement that comes across as condescending. A huge part of what hurts Andy's argumentation is partially due to the animated language he uses. This type of personality works really well in solo videos, but by the time you come into an actual debate, it really hurts genuine conversation. By seeping his claim with an insult, Agman smirks and asks Andy if this is the route he wants to go with. Does he want to turn this into a shit-flinging contest, or does he want to have an honest conversation? Agman is giving him an opportunity to rethink his strategy, but... And he doubles down. Dude, look, I loved your videos from like seven or eight years ago. And do you agree that there has been a steep decline in masculinity in video games since that era of like 06, 07? Like, I know you love that era of games. Do you agree Don't there has all. been a steep decline in masculinity since then in games? Steep decline? I mean, there's obviously still instances of games that have masculine protagonists, sure. But, you know, I'd have to, I would have to watch your masculinity video in its entirety. I think I watched about seven or eight minutes. Okay. And uh, yeah, but, that one that one hit the algorithm. Yeah. I noticed a, a change in the type of content your channel uh, has. 
But to answer your question, if there's been a steep decline, how do you quantify masculinity? I mean, like... Mm -hmm. The Doom games, like 2016, well, dude, I, Doom Eternal, Doom the Dark Ages coming out. We just had Space Marine 2. That's pretty fucking masculine. I mean, Leon Kennedy, Resident Evil 4 remake. I, I think Leon Kennedy's a fucking badass, pretty masculine. Isaac Clarke, the Dead Space remake, pretty fucking masculine. Uh, exactly, but which is a remake of a 2007 game. Right, but those are still remakes released within the last couple of years, all featuring protagonists that we all consider to be fucking Giga Chads. So right, but I'm saying, obviously but I'm saying, there's some contention around your premise that masculinity has fallen off on a steep decline or something. In some okay, ways, I'm, sure. Maybe there's more uh, pandering. Well, just, oh, yeah, well, go I'm ahead. Just, I'm just saying that we had Medal of Honor. We had Sam Fisher. We had Ghost Recon. We had all of these great like masculine characters in games. And it seems like everything now is either a remake. Like like what new, very masculine character uh, uh, has come in a game recently? New? Yeah. Are you talking like entirely new franchise? Right. That's not a remake of a 2007 game because that just proves my point that games back in the day were more masculine and everything's feminine now. I think you're just moving the goalpost because you were talking about masculinity in video games and I gave you several examples of protagonists, but now you're saying, what about new characters? So no, you're no, kind no. of just moving the goalposts on this. No, no, I, I don't have to move the goalposts. Uh, Dead Space is a remake of a 2007 game, so that proves my point. So yeah. but you, you, you disagree. You disagree that games are, are, are have been feminized. You disagree that masculinity is in decline in video games. Is that what you're saying? Um, I disagree with some parts of, of what you've said, yeah. Okay, okay. Andy asks blatant, gotcha-style questions. He clearly only wants a yes or no, as if the topic he's approaching is completely black and white. Ackman tries to give a nuanced answer, which leads Andy into either immediately switching the subject or jumping to conclusions of what Ackman believes. When given multiple examples of masculine characters and games in the modern era, Andy focuses on the sole example of the remake, ignoring the other various examples Ackman has come up with on the top of his head. Um, has the check cleared for Payday 3? Uh, yeah, it did. Okay, all right. Hit the bank yeah. account. Yeah, sure did. Okay. It's great that someone is fine. Like, you can finally confront me on that, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Go for it. Good, good. Because it was trash. I don't see how you how you could justify. I mean, right now, it, there's like five. Do you want an actual people. explanation or are you just looking for cheap gotcha moments? Because I'm telling I, you, man, I, no, I my, do my closet is clean. Dude, okay? I do want an I do want And I have found a lot in yours. Oh, boy. Okay? Like, I don't often get invited to, to those things. I think I've done Halo Wars 2. And Payday 3 are the only two events where I think I've been uh, actually invited out to. Mm -hmm. I talk a lot of shit, so if you want to accuse me of be Bro, <laughs> being I, a shill, I don't dude. get invited to a lot of things. Did you? So you truly liked Black Ops 6? You truly liked the new Call of Duty game? Because that feels like we're waiting for the check to clear from Activision as well. This shit is so stupid, man. I'm not sure how much research Andy actually did on Ackman before wanting to expose him in this stream, but he could have had a genuine retort here. Although it's true that Ackman hasn't been physically invited to other sponsored events, that doesn't mean he hasn't done other sponsored reviews for games. For both New World and AFK Journey, Ackman dedicated entire videos reviewing both games under the guise of a paycheck. He received quite a bit of flack for both videos, and eventually he either unlisted or deleted them as they've both been removed from his channel and are no longer up publicly. If Andy wanted to go the shill route, if he wanted to make the claim that Ackman has no integrity and that his word is paid, he could have easily pulled up actual examples where Ackman did get paid to promote a game and disguise it as a genuine review, but instead he goes with Black Ops 6 and Activision. Fucking idiot. <laughs> see you're just you, the funny thing is that parts of your audience don't know that you're joking no i'm not joking brother i swear to god i I'm hear you laughing like I, I, i'm laughing at the fact that i think you were i i don't think i don't think you're an idiot bro if, if you're familiar idiot. with my content you have a very good understanding of why activision does not pay me or offer to pay me nor would i accept offers Dude, for you're payment talking about their game you're still talking about their game and you just said uh what did you say treyarch is cooking with this one you know, just because i'm chuckling doesn't mean this is a joke i 100 percent think the game is trash and i uh, and you and you honestly legitimately think i'm being paid by activision 
dude, I, I, I do wonder if it's second hand. You're a smart guy. I think, you're not I, retarded. I, let's I, dude, let's not insult both of our intelligences here, okay? If you dude, genuinely I, think I'm I, I'm being paid by Activision, you have never watched a single Call of Duty video I've made. Dude, I get it. I get it. Uh, you want to protect your money. You want to protect your cash. And the way you do oh that God, is by dude. playing both sides. You, you no, both, I am dude, true to I myself, to Andy. Money too. I want to protect my money too. I get it. I know at the and cost that, of your what? own soul, man. You are you are sacrificing something that you what when you not? go up to the man upstairs, he's going to know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. Are I've you? gone through your history. I have all the archives. I have all the I have the community posts you deleted yesterday about us. You you're so bad at deleting things and hiding <laughs> things from your audience, bro. I have it all, okay? No, no. There's a lot of nothing shit that ends up happening here, so I'm just going to give some spark notes. Ackman calls out Andy for being a Starfield Xbox shill in the past. He also alludes that he might make a video on Andy for exposing him for being fake. He also mentions that in the past, Andy used to have nuanced takes, but has decided to essentially radicalize his content to cultivate an audience. Andy asks if Actman is a Christian, and when Actman tells him he's not a practicing Christian who goes to church, Andy treats it as if it's a gotcha moment, like he's supporting evidence that Actman is a fence-sitter, even though he never claimed he was a Christian. It doesn't relate to anything. It's retarded. Actman then brings up an old quote of Andy's. I found your old video on political bias and game journalism. And again, it's like, this is a good take. But see, like, the audience you've cultivated is not going to like something that you say here. Oh, great. I can't wait. Yeah, this is, these are your words. The more gay, lesbian, trans, and female characters we have in games, the better. The more I... diverse perspectives we have in games, the better they will always be. This, this doesn't... This isn't really lining up with the direction your channel is going in, does it? Yeah. I what what I will say, what I will say is that about a year ago, I was backing Xbox and it's it, I think it's pretty commonly known that I used to have an Xbox channel and then mm -hmm. I think in those moments of me backing Xbox, I would say stupid stuff at some points and you know, if anybody wants to find that or google that or whatever, I don't know. Really oh, is shit. that one of those stupid things you you don't yeah. think yeah. Well. Oh, so you completely so, 180 that? So, so, so yes, it was stupid. And so, oh. well, well, and he keeps trying to bait Actman into calling him a homophobe. He literally tells him he has a response for when he calls him a homophobe. Spoiler alert: Actman never calls him a homophobe. If you wanted to call him a guy, maybe go tell him it's part of your plan. You fucking retard. Anyways, I feel like the stage is set well enough where I don't have to keep going into autistic detail of every clip. So now that we've established the base arguments and the points of contention, I'm just going to let the rest of the relevant clips play out. So um, here's my next question. You think so given little that, of me. Given that, given that LGBT are a tiny 3% of the population, is it strange at all to you that uh, their depravity is being pushed in 100% of games now? 100% uh, of the games. All of oh, them. Yeah. They, dude, everything's woke now? Dude, uh, it's everything. It's all Homo flags are in everything. Yes, homo flags uh, are in everything. Being being pushed in every I, single game. Obviously, like you're like one hundred percent of the games that like you. No. So moving on, why do you? Wait, 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 wait. I didn't answer the question. Okay. Do I it. think it's strange? You want you want a real answer? No, I don't think it's strange. I think corporations do what thinks will make them money, and as you see with Concord, clearly didn't work out. But after the the BLM protests, riots, after all of that. There, like that's when a hard push began where corporations started being like, wow, there's a lot of popularity behind this movement. Let's capitalize on that. Let's like that famous fucking, what was it, a Pepsi ad? Yeah. So no, I don't think it's strange that they're pushing it. I think it's strange that they push it as hard as they might have done in Concord. Uh, but that game failed for a variety of other reasons. Not just not just because it had gay people in it. I play both sides. That's why both sides hate me at times because I make fun of both of them because I don't restrict myself to fifty percent of the material. You Look, hate, why why would I do that? When have you ever hated on the LGBT community in any? One of, of my most popular videos is feminism and SJWs versus video. Dude, what are you it's talking like a, about? It's like a ten year old video. People it are, has five point like, four million views, bro. What are you? Dude, people are like, what happened? You keep to moving that? the goalposts on everything. It's like, when have you ever made fun? Dude, the Hogwarts Legacy like, shit was last year. <laughs> you don't know anything about dude, my channel, are, bro. So the thing about the word woke is it it harkens back to that old story we all read and were taught when we were growing up. The boy who cried wolf. These days, it's the boy who cried woke. 
There is so much disingenuous criticism using the word woke. The word is so liberally applied to everything because there are so many online grifters who produce daily outrage content that are saying, this thing is woke, this thing is woke, you should be angry, you should be upset, tune in tomorrow for episode 4169 on why Star mm -hmm. Wars is woke now and why you should hate it and be mad and angry and upset. There's a, so much of that going on that the, the ending of the story of the boy who cried wolf is that at the end there was a wolf out there, but because there were so many false claims of there being a wolf, the people didn't help him. So that's what's happened with the word woke. When I hear somebody, so it's it's what happened to the words racist and sexist a few years ago. People were saying like air conditioning sexist and, you know, right. all this stupid shit is racist and sexist. And it destroyed the meaning that those words are supposed to have. The boy who cried racist, the boy who cried sexist, the boy who cried woke. These are these are three books in a volume. OK, that Dude, all have the so same the same ending. Dude, so it's it's I mean, you're a video game critic and, and you're you do video game analysis. So I find it shocking that you don't see the pattern in a game like Concord having three black females in it and not a single white man. Just want to cut in real quick. Andy kept making the claim that Concord is three black females, but not a single white man. Uh, T.O., this Soldier 76 ripoff is a white dude. Like, yeah, bro, the game is shit. The characters are ugly. For sure, no one's arguing that. But why make a claim multiple times when it's so easily disproven? Jesus fucking Christ. And you just seem to turn your head the other way. And I'm saying that's what's I'm annoying your audience is that they're just like, uh, yeah, Ackman just denies all this stuff because he wants to hang out with leftists. And I'm sure you have a lot of leftist friends in the industry and all these homos and you go to pride parades. And like, I get it, dude. No, no, seriously. <laughs> I said that you are playing both sides. You have no integrity. And I know that you're going to you're going to cut together a video of me a year ago saying something stupid. And I'll be the first to say that I've grown since then. And I've moved on from former views. Yeah, you, so, you've moved on from the Xbox console warrior grift to the uh, anti LGBTQ grift. Sure. If that's sure. If that's what you want to call it. Have you? That's what it is, admit, man. Can you admit that you've moved on from making based videos to making play both sides puss videos? <laughs> Dude, seriously. See, like, you're not being fucking serious with this, bro. Serious. You, you keep laughing pictures. because you, you, you know what you're saying is so ridiculous. Dude. Fence sitting. So yeah. What, how do I sit on the fence? By point. point. I, I mean, I get it. It helps you make money as a YouTuber. No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not asking. I'm asking for examples of when I've sat on the fence, dude. I and, and when I when I've played both sides. When do I do that? Okay. Look, I, I I get it. I just watched a political video you made a couple weeks ago, and you mm -hmm. talked about how I don't get into politics because I think politics are toxic, and I just want to talk about games, and that's fine. And, and that and that as given your type of content that makes sense because it helps you play both sides and it helps you make as much money as possible to not talk about politics and it's smart politics in the real world okay i'm not going to make a video about gun control you know what i mean i'm going i'm here to talk about politics in media in storytelling that i'm fine with i'm not going to tell you how the fucking country should be run okay i make video game videos no, right there's, no there's actually like five or six black people in concord i said there's yeah there's black women in concord oh, oh even no, no, worse no, it's, even it's, worse there they were women too fuck dude dude it's, it's it's funny that you bring this up because um somebody on your server actually called a black person a monkey it's wow funny that you bring up no racism. way no no, no. one I, person in my funny. fucking discord server no, no, no. said and something look, racist look, dude, once and look, dude, oh my know, god look, oh dude, my I'm, god <laughs> he's so based Dude, are you look, for real, bro? Are you no, for no, real? No, Don't no, come no, at me look, with this fucking weak shit. No, no, no. And look, and look, I will be the first person to say that there's stuff on my Discord that happens that I that I don't know about. My only point in saying this is that there's no nobody more racist than leftists like you. Nobody is more racist. Than How the fuck community. did you extrapolate that? Are you are nobody do you have brain damage? How did you extrapolate this from some fucking random? This is what you come at me with, bro. So, oh my god. So if, this if, is weak. No, dude, you ain't I'm no Giga Chad, bro. This is. Dude, I'm just telling you that somebody on your server, there's a there's a black wow. guy from my, there's a black guy from my community on your server, and he got called a monkey. And then somebody said that he lived in a mud hut. So I guess these are the people. Hey, that you well, thank you for bringing that to my attention because I yeah. can talk to my mods and take action against this. Yeah. If action hasn't already been taken, yeah. Um,
Well, but this no, is I, the hard hitting I, stuff. The the Discord yeah, messages from random you're uh, users in a public you're server. Yeah. So wow. no, I just thought it was I thought it was funny. I thought it was funny because it shows how racist you are that one person was, got in your server and said something racist. And that right. that I'm putting all on you. And you're a leftist it's and more, you're like, are you retarded, Andy? You're not retarded. There's no way you can make this possible connection through any logical means Dude. and actually believe it. This is probably the most damning clip of the entire debate. Andy tries to pin a random retard on Discord and connect it to Actman being a leftist because leftists are racist. It's just fucking wild, and I don't see how anyone with an iota of fucking common sense or self-awareness would present this as damning evidence. Dude, because because I saw you talking to Marty the other day. I mean, I know he doesn't work at Xbox. I know he's a bungee guy, and that was that was a cool interview I enjoyed. But, like, what is even going on with... Uh... He's a woke leftist, too. Did you know that? He's secretly a super woke leftist. No, he's Marty. not. Dude, he's yeah, hardcore. he is. Dude, he, he, he's a, he was a Repu Republican. Uh, um, dude, he's hardcore conservative. Marty, no, no, no. It's it's all it's all a front. Is I yeah right. <laughs> See, because I I only I only pander and ha and talk with hardcore leftists. <laughs> Okay, I see what you that's saying. that's all. I'm just gonna skip a majority of the video. I think you get the point. Andy asks a Fox News, CNN tier level comment. Actman gives a genuine, nuanced answer. Andy switches the subject or regurgitates the same three claims against Actman that he still hasn't been able to prove. The cycle continues, and there you have it. What a fucking disaster. Following the end of the stream, Andy would receive criticism not only from the general public, but from his own audience as well. How did he respond? Well, Andy decided the most Alva Chad masculine decision he could make was to unlist the video and disable the comments. He also deleted a majority of his tweets in relation to the debate, causing an unsurprisingly chaotic riot within his Discord community. Not only would he avoid addressing the stream while posting unrelated tweets, but he would take it a step further by removing one of his mods because he begged him in the nicest way possible to stop acting like a fucking retard. He also allegedly began banning people who shit on him for how manic he was acting and spamming cope to every text calling out his bullshit. For someone who's so willing to dish out criticism and insult other creators as leftist beta male cucks, he can't seem to take the L and stop acting like a leftist homosexual. Now, it's been some time since all this has played out, and there is an update. Apparently, he had a Discord call with his community. Unfortunately, I wasn't available when it happened, and it doesn't seem like anyone has it recorded. However, they did help to convince him give back his mod privileges to the individual who previously lost it. He unbanned some other members. He brought back the stream into public mode, and he re-enabled the comments. Posted an update! And he age-restricted the stream and re-disabled his comments again because he's a FUCKING PUSSY! Despite trying to right his wrongs, it's extremely telling the level of mental maturity someone like Andy has when melting down to a situation he started. I mean seriously, what did we just witness? We saw an overconfident, underprepared, and insincere Andy come into a debate of his own making. He accused Ackman of being a shill by both being a leftist, yet simultaneously a fence-sitter. Ironic how this entire stream and its aftermath showcases Andy displaying this exact same behavior. Throughout the stream, Andy continuously opens his question with, Isn't it strange? Well, Andy, isn't it strange that you claim to be a devout Christian, yet you are unable to quote or remember the Ninth Commandment? Isn't it strange how hard you shilled for Starfield and Xbox only a year ago, yet believe Actman is paid out by Activision? Isn't it strange that when ripping Ackman from shifting his politics to appeal to leftists, you yourself are exposed for advocating for diversity and LGBT representation, but now have shifted your views to promote an anti-gay narrative? Isn't it strange how despite condemning gay behavior, you've posted a video of yourself humping the air in a once- uh, Okay, uh, this isn't actually a point, it's just funny. Oh yes, daddy. Isn't it strange that you call Actman a grifter, yet you self-reported when you said the only reason you radicalized your content was because you got views for doing so, and you're easily influenced by your community for your moral compass? Isn't it strange? You can keep acting tough and call yourself a confident man, but at the end of the day, if you don't humble yourself, Andy, and act like a fucking adult, your facade will fall, and from the words of Actman, the leopards will eat your face.